everyone. I'm here with Skip Matos. Hi. Today he's going to show us how to dock tune a rig. The reason you want to dock tune your rig is so your boat can handle a number of varying conditions from light air to heavy air. Also, proper tune optimizes your sail shape so you have better performance cruising or racing. Now let's get started. You want to set up your own arc measurement to give you a rake reference if you don't have a tuning guide from your sailmaker. Having a record of rake will allow you to repeat settings from season to season, as well as experiment with different settings. Take the jib halyard from a reachable spot on the head stay and walk it aft to the front face of the mast. Find a location that's at an easily repeatable height. Mark the spar and halyard. Make sure to pull tightly so there is little stretch in the measurement. Swing the arc forward and mark the head stay. Measure down from the top of the mark to the intersection of the head stay and the deck. This boat has a recessed furler, so we are using a batten loader to get the reference point. Adjust as required to get to your setting. To start tuning the lateral rigging, put meter long tape strips on the port and starboard vertical shrouds. These will be used as the reference points for centering the mast tip. Place a person in a climbing harness and place a tape reference mark on the halyard. Swing from the cabin house out to one of the vertical shrouds. Mark the tape strip with a marker at the top of the halyard tape band. Swing out to the other vertical shroud and repeat. You want to keep your weight on the halyard and not unload it as this will skew the measurement. This is the reason for the big arcing path over the boom. Measure from the top of the mark down to the toggle on the turnbuckle. Both measurements should match. You want tension in the lower diagonal shrouds to make sure the mast looks straight. Make adjustments as needed. Measuring turnbuckle lengths is a great starting point. Move up the rig, adjusting any additional lateral rigging. Once you have sufficient tension, you are ready to go for a sail and see how it looks. Those are the basic steps to getting your rig straight and centered in your boat. To find out more about how your mast should match up with your mainsail, please contact your sailmaker. Now remember, you can find rig tuning tools as well as thousands of other marine products from jamestowndistributors.com.